Hi, my name is Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Today, teaching you the guitar solo from the Kiss song Plastercaster. Comes off the Love Gun album, and it sounds like this. <laughs> So let's have a look at how to play the phrases of this solo. So phrase number one will be using an A minor or A mixolydian style scale. If you don't know those scales, just click the little video link that's appearing above me now and it'll take you to our lesson on how to play those scales. The first phrase is this. So I'll break that into two halves. The first part. What we've got here, um, using you can either use second and third finger or third and pinky. At the seventh fret of string number two and string number three, both at the same time, and I'm bending those strings. Uh, I recommend you've got your fingers behind supporting the bend so even though I don't need finger one and two in this case it's helping me push the strings up and down if you haven't done string bends before once again just click the little video tab that will be appearing above me now that will take you to my lesson on string bending so both at seventh fret string two string three and we're going one, two, three. Bend and return. So we're bending up and returning to the standard pitch of those seventh fret notes. Then we get this pentatonic lick. break that up. A bend at the seventh fret of the third string and a return. So bend at seven, return to seven and a hammer on and pull off. All on the third string this uh, so far. Five, seven, five. Bend, seven, return, Five, seven, five, hammer ons and pull offs. And I'm using first and third finger, first finger for a fifth fret note, third finger, that's the one next to your pinky, for seventh fret note. If you haven't done hammer ons and pull offs before, once again, click our little lesson tab video that's just going to be appearing above me right now to help you with those techniques. You'll then go to 7th fret of the 4th string. Then to finish out this first half of the phrase, 7th fret, 5th fret on string 3 and finalising it at 7th fret of string 4. Very typical ace style pentatonic lick there. So if I just recap that first half for you. What I recommend throughout this video is hitting pause, just taking some time to learn each part individually and then bringing it all together before we move on to the next part. The second half of phrase one, once again starts with the same bending of the, the two seventh fret notes, string two, string three. 
three bend and returns. We'll finish out the phrase. So start with your bends. One, two, three. Then I'm going down onto second string. And a hammer on and pull off lick. So the frets I'm hitting here on second string. Five, eight, five. Then going to seven on third string. And back to five on second string. Almost at the end of the phrase. The phrase ends with this bending lick. So I'm bending at 8th fret on the 2nd string, using 3rd and 2nd finger to create that bend. The bend is by a tone. That does mean we push the string until it sounds like the note two frets higher. So a way to practice this bend, hit the 10th fret note of 2nd string. Get the sound of that note in your ears, back to your 8th fret and push the string until you hear that, that pitch. Therefore you've bent it to the right spot, to the right pitch. After that bent note, we hit 5th fret of string 1 and then back to another bend. And that finishes out the second half of the phrase. If we put the bends back in front of it, we get part two of phrase one. Let me put all of phrase one together for you, all in this A minor pentatonic style area. And with that we complete phrase one. Take some time, pause this video. This is the hardest part of the solo, I think, so do take some time with it before we move on to phrase number two. With phrase number two, A starts following the chords. There's an F chord in the rhythm, then being played, followed up by a G chord in the rhythm. So he does licks around the F chord and then moves that same lick up to a G chord position. So let's talk about fret numbers to get this second phrase learnt. Um, I'm up in what I would call an F position now. 13th fret is what I'll cover with string number, uh, on string number two and one. And using my first finger to cover those. Just before that, we get this hammer on lick. I'm hammering on from 13th fret with my first finger to 14th fret on string number three. So 13, 14, string three. And then using my first finger to flatten out at 13th fret of string number two, then string number one. And then I do a string bend fret number 16. You can find 16 fairly quickly as it sits between two of your dotted frets at 15 and 17. Bend at 16. We move that phrase two frets higher now to put it in a G position. So you've got F, G, exactly the same skill. So this time fret numbers 15 hammer on to 16, 15, 15 on strings 1 and 2, 15, 16 string 3, 15, 15 
string two, then one. Use your dot to locate that 15th fret and then a bend at 18 on the second string. So we get that phrase put together, phrase number two of the Plastercaster solo. And that's all it takes to play phrase number two. Take some time, pause this video before you start to look at phrase number three. Phrase number three, there is a D chord being played in the rhythm and Ace has moved that, that lick that he's done in phrase number two back to 10th fret to put it over a D chord position. And he's embellished it a bit further. So it starts the way we started phrase two, but we're back now at 10th fret, third string, 10 hammers on to 11, and then first finger flattens at string number two, then string number one. And this time you'll bounce back to string number two at 10th fret. So fret numbers, third string, 10, 11, 10, 10, on string two, then one, then back to string two, 10. We got some bending to do now. This is on string number one at 13th fret. 13th fret, just one pass your double dots. A lot of guitars have got two dots at 12th fret, so it's a quick way to locate that 13. And we need to bend the string at 13 and return it to normal pitch. Follow this up with a hammer on and pull off lick. So the hammer on and pull off is at 10th and 13th fret. So we're going 10, 13, 10 and then going to 13 on string number two. And then coming back to string number one at 10. Almost at the end of the solo now. My next part, I'll bend 13 on second string. Bend and return without picking again. And then finish at 12th fret of the second string where your double dots are. To complete the solo. Always just learn it in small little parts. Uh, pause this video to help you out and come back to it time and time again. Um, hopefully this has helped you out. I might just perform it one more time. I love this guitar solo. It's one of my favorites out of the catalog. That's why Ace is one of my favorite lead guitarists of all time. Good luck learning this solo. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment on this video. If you have learned something, subscribe to this channel, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. We've got lots of Kiss Guitar Solo videos for you to learn from. And give this video a thumbs up click if you have gained something from it. Good luck learning the Plastercaster Solo.